an eight-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion hailing from Sao Paulo. The legend is now set to train in Asia to expand her career in mixed martial arts. This is In Focus with Michelle Nicolini. I will start training Jiu-Jitsu 16 years ago, uh, back in Brazil. And at that time, Jiu-Jitsu wasn't mm, popular at all. You know, people used to talk about Jiu-Jitsu as like a street fight or something like that, you know. With time, now it's popular, it's on TV, with a lot of uh, MMA good fights, you know, so people start to respect and to, they start to want to learn more. So it's pretty big now, not only in Brazil, but every place that I go, always there is Jiu-Jitsu, so I always take a gear with me and I can train, I can meet different people for Jiu-Jitsu. It's amazing how fast, I think fast, and uh, it's just spread all over the world. How did Jiu-Jitsu come about in the first place in Brazil? Is it derived from ju Judo? Yeah, I come from Judo, uh, and the family grace brought to Brazil, and they start training like as a challenge, like a small guy could beat a big guy, you know, with technique, so got a popular like that. just pulled up. That's the biggest okay. appeal, right? You don't need to be big and strong to be an incredible Jiu Jitsu practitioner. No, no. Practice. With, with technique, you, with your, uh, if you develop good skills, you know, you don't need to be so strong as like a big guy, for example. What made you want to try it in the first place? Uh, a friend of, I didn't know about Jiu Jitsu before, and a friend of mine told me, ah, you should try. I was looking for another martial arts I would be in Capoeira before in Brazil. So then I was looking for something else, and he said, ah, you should try Jiu-Jitsu. Mm, Jiu-Jitsu, what is that? You know? And then uh, I went to a class, I took a girl with me, and we went there together. And I really liked Santa the first day, you know. I beat up, I was beating up for everybody. But I was so, I want to go back and kill that person, you know. And then uh, I started, like, you start to get a dick. As much you learn, you want to learn more and more, so you have enough technique to you know, to smash someone or to, to do good on the training yard. And then I started to compete more. And uh, my first three competitions was like really bad. I lost the first three. And I said, ah, I don't want to compete anymore. And my, then I had a good coach and he started to talk to me, you know, no, I think you you were doing something wrong. It's better you focus more and then I compete more. But it's like so good because if you if you just train is one thing, but you can challenge yourself in doing a competition, so it's even like better, you know. What's been the best moment of your career so far? I have a couple, you know. Um, I think my first world championship in 2006 as a black belt, and uh, 2013 the ADCC championship in Beijing. Um, yeah, some. Some yeah. important, yeah. And what's the biggest challenge to be a world champion for you? What's been the hardest part? Keep being a champion, you know, yeah. When you reach the top, you know, a lot of people want your head, you know. So every year, I used to compete every year, so every year I had to, man, I had to be better and better, you know, because if you stop, it's not because I'm there on top, I won that you can relax, you know. You still have to push yourself even more because people want some people want you to lose, some people want you like to win again, so it's like a challenge. You have to push yourself a lot. And what kind of a fighter are you? What kind of a person are you? Very calm person, you know. I think all my stress or all my energy I put on the mat. So outside and very calm. I like to just like to to be around the good people and very calm. But on the mat, I think I'm a like killer. <laughs> I hear a lot of people talk about BJJ, about something that changes your life and it becomes like an obsession. Like, could you explain that feeling to people who have no idea about BJJ? Yeah, it's, um, for me it's, like, it's the same thing that you say, ah, I'm on diet. I'm not on diet, I'm not. Uh, it's like if you, it's not part of the diet anymore, you know? It's just like it's the way that you want to live. So it's just what I decide to do for my life. And I took this so serious as my job, so I always have to be good on it. 
So what's the next step for you? I'm still going to fight this year Jiu-Jitsu. I have uh, Abu Dhabi Pro in April and the Worlds in June. Uh, but I wanna, like, I had some uh, MMA fights before and I heard all good things about Evolve. For a long time I was looking for a place just to focus in MMA. I couldn't find before. I, like, uh, Singapore and Brazil, they are very far away, you know. So it, um, that's why it never happened that for me to come to here and stay like training, do my camp here for a fight. So I was I always prepare myself for a fight in Brazil or US. And then uh, I said, no, I had to try this place, you know. And then I decided to come and the doors are so open for me here, you know, I really like it to home. And uh, maybe I will like do more MMA here, train more, because I really like the place and we can train everything in one place. Before I was driving from one place to other, like in Brazil or in America. We have a good jiu-jitsu in one place and then Muay Thai in the other, so we have to drive and wrestling, you know. So we waste a lot of time in between one place and other. Here we have everything together. And I think the MMA is the next, next step for me. Like BJJ, uh, women's MMA is something that's growing. I think uh, Ronda Rousey only signed with the UFC in 2012, so it's still very new. Is yeah. it exciting to be a part of that? Yeah, well, of course, it's very exciting, you know, as a woman. And uh, because I started training a long time ago, we didn't have any space in the media or anything in the big competitions. Always about the men fighting, you know, everybody watch them. But for us, I really like it's still like open the doors for the women, you know. And uh, to be part, if I can be part of this, I'll be so happy, you know, just to complement my my journey in the martial arts. Well, you've achieved uh, so much in BJJ, but now pretty much, do you think you can achieve the same things in mixed martial arts? Do you have an ambition uh, to become a world champion? Yeah, I want to be a world champion in MMA as well. You know, I feel I'm not young anymore, but I still have the, the feeling to win, you know. So, yeah, I hope I can do good. I will spend a lot of time training. I know I'm, a, what could I say, I'm a white belt in the stand-up, you know, still learning a lot. I have a lot to learn. But I really want to do this, so I think if you, this is the best thing, the more important thing, if you want to do and you really focus on it, you can actually do it. That's my goal. <laughs>